Shalawan, man. Shalawan, man. Shalawan, man. Just been reflecting a lot on life, you know. I used to need a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? I used to have to go to the beach, to the ocean, and watch the waves crash, you know, and watch the moonlight, you know, just to cope with life, you know what I'm saying? Clear my head. I used to take a bottle up into the graveyard, you know, and talk to dead gangsters and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Or find a high hill looking down on the city at night and just really reflect and clear my mind, you know, or I would have went crazy. You know, I was hurt real bad, real bad, real bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna say it loud. I'ma get it all the way right. I'm gonna make him proud. He don't want no more sheep. He don't want no more cats. Want us to keep his word. He don't want no more rams. We ain't even got no more cattle no more. We taking it from our hurt. Sweat of our ride, we work. Still hunger and we thirst. Father, I learned my lesson. Now I'm ready for your blessing. Walking this walk, I'm stepping. So I won't no more stress. I know what you're gonna do. Soon as I disobey, one will be demon bait. So I bow to do with your way. So many ways we pay. Bring it all on ourselves. Going off in our pride. Still don't wanna take no help. Took their mighty hand, pushed us out the land, put us under man. Still don't understand, still don't see the plan, still don't keep command. Still, woke up, still playing game. And I know you'd rather me hearken on to your words so I could be straight instead of messing up and investing up and trying to fix it some other way. Your obedience better. Sacrifice better. Better. Sacrifice better. It's better to get it right the first time. It's better. Better. The sacrifice it's better. Obedience better than sacrifice it's better Better than sacrifice it's better It's better to do it once than have to do it twice It's better Better, better, better Than sacrifice it's better Hey, what I'm talking about, huh? I'm gonna say it loud I'ma get it all the way right I'm gonna make it Yeah, yeah, so where there is no counsel You ain't gonna find me and if you about that folly, nah, you ain't gon' like me. See y'all them played all them games, played all them games. Played all them games. I'm tired. I remember what the bottom felt like. Remember I just wanted to rise. What was on the wall of a jail cell? Said to myself, it's the last time. Think about when my man died. Blood all over my feet. Blood all over my navigator that they told for their evidence. Nothing about the love of him. Listen, one minute's the end. Man, another failed relationship. But man, we didn't have a kid. Now I'm missing on another kid. Life was in shambles. Went off into them scripts. Now I see what's the matter. Hit the ground running. Got to knocking down sin. So one day I felt the most high love blow up in my abdomen. I tell you like this. Obedience better. Better. Sacrifice better. It's better. It's sacrifice it's better. It's better to get it right the first time. It's better, better than sacrifice. It's better, obedience better than sacrifice. It's better, better than sacrifice. It's better, it's better to do it once than have to do it twice. It's better, 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 better than sacrifice. It's better, better, better. Cheers to joy. Better now. Cheers to joy. Better, better, better. You know, I sing a song. It's better. I sing a song of triumph to my people. It's better. I sing a song of deliverance to my people. It's better. I no longer need those things anymore. I no longer need to clear my head. I just cut my mic better, off and testify. You know, I got truth music now. It's better. I no longer hang out in graveyards anymore. It's better. And talk to headstones anymore. Tears of joy. It's better. We got them back. Uh, I'm on. Better, better, it's better. We got our God back. It's better. Put your prayer hands up if you better. It's better. Better, better, yeah. better. Yeah. It's better. Show him a little obedience, and I mean, he will set your heart on fire. You he will. It's better. Y'all surely you understand me. 
It's better, better. King yeah. It's better. Praise the highest through his son, Yeshaya. It's better, better. And always in the Holy Spirit. It's better. Papa Wapaka Dasha, man. It's better. It's better, better, better. Let's open the seal one time on this. It's better. Read the Bible, Leviticus 5 and 6. And he shall bring his trespass offering unto thy power for his sin, which he has sinned. A female of the flock, a lamb or a kid of the goat for a sin offering. Okay, now that's the original sin offering right there. A lamb or a kid of the goat. Moving on. And the priest shall make an atonement for him concerning his sin. And you took your animal to the priest, and the priest offered it up for you. Okay, that's the original sin offering. Our forefather, for their sins, would have to go into their cattle and get one of their lamb or goats out and give it up, right? Give it away to be slaughtered or to be burnt up, depending on what kind of offering it was. And that hurt them. You know, those things was valuable in that day. That was the luxury of that day. They was taking a big hit by doing that. That cattle was precious. That was food, milk, meat, skins, you know what I'm saying? Wool, all that. That was benefiting a long way from the animals if they was getting to keep them, kind. They didn't want to have to do that. They didn't want to have to give them up. But hey, you sin, you suffer. Period. Come up off that any up. Drop it like it's hot, right? The precept, get it again. Something happened to them being able to make these type of sacrifices right here. Let's get that. And it's 5 and 22. Go ye offer me burnt offering and your meat offering. I will not accept them. So you see that the most high stop accepting them type of sacrifices. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beast. Huh, bang, no, nope. not working no more. Most high like nah, no more peace for you for the exchange of that. He didn't want it no more. So with the most high is no longer granting you peace for your peace offering, then what that mean? That mean you in trouble now, right? He about to take it out your butt. Now, that's what that mean. No peace for you. He about to take that out your behind. Precept, get it again. Isaiah 66 and 3. He that killeth the ox is as if he slew a man. Kapow, no, ain't taking no ox. You kill an ox at this point, it is as if you have killed a man. He that sacrifices the lamb as if he cut off a dog's neck. No, not even your lamb. It is as if you have sacrificed the dog to the most high. It don't count. Not acceptable. He that offers with an oblation, an oblation, so that's a drink offer, as if he offered swine's blood, Ooh, you know how he feel about that swine, your drink offering now is as if you offered pig's blood to the most high, nope, don't want it, that ain't gonna do it, not acceptable, and he that burneth incense, as if he blessed an idol, your burning of incense is now as if you have blessed an idol before the most high, the most high was done, he didn't want no more with nothing from us, why not, yeah, they have chosen their own way because we had chosen our own way that's why like yeah i'm gonna enjoy this folly right now and i'm gonna just pay it off later with some of my stuff right and their soul delighted in their abomination and their soul delighted in their abomination so abomination had became more important than their cattle and their drink offerings and their incense that was at this point just ready to just right just Pulled off their little luxuries, you know what I'm saying, for the sake of sin. You know what I'm saying? And the most high is like, nah, I'm gonna take it out your butt at this point. Nah, nope, that's done. That's so it's a wrap. That's where the curses start coming in. Kind of, that's where the sacrifice of the animal became for the most high. Like, okay, I'm gonna just crush you. Kind of, that's what happened to it. That's when the most high start looking at it all. Like, okay, y'all about to get about this land. I'm about to take everything, right? That's when Deuteronomy 28 and 15 and forward got in effect. He didn't want that no more for our sin. He despised it, but what did he not despise? What did he begin to require at that point for sacrifice? Precept, get it again. Let's see what the most high problem was. Psalm 51 and 17. The sacrifices of the most high are a broken spirit. Cub pow, straight off the rip. Coming straight out the gate. A broken spirit. That's what the most high problem was with us. Now that sacrifice had become what? A broken spirit. That's your spirit being broke. He about to take it out your behind. He won't your spirit broke now. He stripped us of all of everything, right? All that cattle, like Deuteronomy 28 and 18 say, right? He took away all the flocks of thy sheep and the cattle of thy kind, right? Like, nah, I'm gonna break your spirit now for your sins, kind. No peace for you. Testimony. That's why life had beat me up like that so bad in my last days in the world, kind. That's why I needed that beach in the wee hours of the night just to cope. 
Feel what I'm saying? I was taking hits left and right. I was hurt. Wasn't nothing working right. The father had his foot down on my neck. Everybody was dying every direction I turned in. Relationships failing. Baby mama stacking up. Children stacking up. Kind I was living in sin. I was stuck in sacrifice mode. And he was whooping me. He was beating me. He was taking it out my butt, right? I didn't have no cattle. So once you disobey, that sacrifice gonna have to happen some kind of way. You see that? That's why I was hanging out in that graveyard. Having whole conversations with a head. You know what I'm saying? Ventilating to my lost loved ones that had passed on. That's why I needed to do that. My spirit was breaking. The most high was breaking my spirit. And why was he doing that to me? What was he trying to accomplish by doing that to me? A broken and contrite heart. Kapow, he was giving me a broken and contrite heart. Hold up, what that contrite right there mean? H 1794 in your strong's concordance. H 1794 in your strong. And it mean to be crushed down, to make collapse, to break down. To make crouch down, you know, so to bring low. So a contrite heart is a humble heart, the lowly. I wasn't humble before that, he had to humble my heart. Come huh? reading on, hold thy power, that will not despise. Good bang, there it is, that punchline. That's what he will not despise. A broken and contrite spirit in heart is what he don't despise. That mean that humble and contrite heart is all that he will accept now in replacement for a sacrifice. There is nothing else that you can offer in the place of humility. No humility, the most high ain't dealing with you, period. So all of us that's running from that part, and hey, there you have your issue. That's why, though we continue to lose out and take these beatings, nothing changes. It's a revolving door. It's a repeating cycle. You in constant disobedience and the sacrifices ain't counting no more. You doing everything but getting the broken and contrite spirit in heart. That's the last straw before you break down and really start seeing some progress in this walk, huh? When the Most High start laying up off you and granting you peace. So you know till you humble that heart, you're gonna be stuck in a stage of vain sacrifice where he just gonna keep taking it out your butt, taking it out your butt. You see that? And it ain't counting because it ain't the proper sacrifice. Can't be giving him the wrong sacrifice. He ain't accepting it and you ain't accepting his beat. So Amos 3 and 3, two can't walk together if they don't agree. You could cut all the animal necks you want. You could burn up all the cattle you want. You can put yourself in as many situations as you want for him to keep taking it out your butt all you want. No, it's not efficient. He not gonna lay up off you and he not grant you no peace. Not till you humble yourself, huh? Give up your folly. Sacrifice me that self the most high. Stop doing the things you know that anger me. That's against this law, these prophets, this gospel. Sacrifice me that. Humble yourself. Clean up your heart. Bury your hatchet. Stop, pause, repent, turn back and show love and mercy to your neighbor. How about that? Make that sacrifice for me, say it for how you. You think I'm far fetching this? Then watch this then. Precept, get it again. What the most high want now? Mark 12 and 33. And to love him with all the heart. Pow, that's what the most high want now. He want us to love him with all the whole heart. So that means he don't want our heart going in no other direction but unto him. If you know what this book say to do, and then when you get the chance, you don't do that. Then that means something else is tugging at your heart. Something else got your heart. You are allowing something else to play tug of war with the most high regarding your heart, huh? And he like, nah, he wants the whole heart. Love me with all your heart. And what else? And with all the understanding. And with all our understanding. That mean according to all of what you understand, he wants you to be loving him with the full capacity of whatever that is. What's that, James 4 and 17, right? To him that know to do good and do it fit not. To him it is sin, ain't it? He wants you to love him with all of your understanding, with all of what you understand, and what else? And with all the soul, and with all the soul, with everything that you are made of, with the air that you breathe, he wants you to be loving him with that. And why not? He the one gave it to us, God. Okay then, should be nothing to grant him that back. We need to be loving him with all our soul, and what else? And with all the strength, and with all our strength, all our might, with everything in our power, we need to be loving him with that. Not where you could have been stronger, but you chose to be weak the little things this book is asking so when i see people not wanting to do that i'll be like you don't care nothing about the most high feel what i'm saying nothing can be stronger than the strength that we loving him with we can't be dividing our strength to halfway empower both him and folly is what that means and i just want to add that uh you know shout out to y'all honor and respect for the ones that's struggling you know what i'm saying i don't care how bad a state you in i don't care how low a level of righteousness you working with long as you're doing your best huh and progressing and fighting a good fight then hey you falling right in line with this 
you loving him with all your might. Even if that might is small and you loving him with all of it, then he gonna be pleased with that. And he gonna work with you and deal with you and pick you up high, huh? Because you loving him with all of your strength. Firm fists in the air to you, my brother, my sister. Keep giving it all you got. Now let's get this punchline right fast. And what else must we do? Then to love his neighbor as himself. Yes. Punchline. That's the whole reason we came to this scripture here. I told you I wasn't far fetching that. That's part of having a broken spirit and a contrite heart. You gotta love your neighbor as yourself. That's what he taking as a sacrifice now. You could do the whole law, but you ain't gonna get right here and say you have a broken and contrite spirit and you out here self-centered and disrespectful and rough around the edges towards your neighbor. Nah, you gotta love your neighbor as yourself. Don't do nothing to your neighbor that you wouldn't want done to you, period. And in doing this, you would be doing what? And to love your neighbor as yourself is more than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. Kapow. Now you're all the way in line with what the Father wants in place of a sacrifice. That's what he wants in the place of a burnt or slaughtered animal now for your sins. That's what he wants in the place of having to somehow take payment out of our butts, huh? This is worth more than anything else that you could offer up to him. This is the obedience that is better than sacrifice right here. Is it becoming plain to you? He don't want no more slaughtered animals. Nor do he want to have to take it out our butt. No, he would just rather you obey from the jump and save him and ourselves the trouble. Precept, get it again. What would he rather have us do? Proverbs 21 and 3. To do justice. That's what he would rather have us to do. He would rather us do justice. How do you do justice? You do what is just, right? That's how. You do the right thing. You do that which is good to do. That which should be done. And you can't do justice unless you first do what? Ain't judge. Cook pile unless you first. Do judge. How you gonna do justice if you don't know how to judge a just judgment? Ah, see? You gonna be doing the opposite of that. You gonna be doing injustice. That's the opposite. Feel what I'm saying? That's the wrong sacrifice. Go back and get that track I recently dropped called The Judges Thereof. If you want a better understanding on that part. But he want us to do justice and judgment. Because why? What is this? To do justice and judgment is more acceptable to thy power than sacrifice. Ka bang There it is. That punchline. Another punch. Because this is more acceptable to the most high than sacrifice. This is what he has replaced them sacrifice with. So all of y'all that's eager to cut an animal's neck and think you're doing something and done pulled it Christ off, you are. You an error. This is what joins us back to the most high. This is the obedience that is better than sacrifice. Better than you ending up having to try to fix things some other way when you could have just obeyed from the jump and not took that detour all about the way. You could have just stayed on the same road. Feel what I'm saying? He trying to level us up by having us follow this. You see that? You do this, you won't even need no sacrifice. He'd rather you get it right the first time from the jump instead of lacking judgment and him having to deliver you stripes because of your injustice. Woo! No, you see, I know you see that. It's right there. Nah, that's unacceptable to him. Precept, get it again. What would he rather us do? Ecclesiastes 5 and 1. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of the most high, your high. Keep your foot when you go to the house of a high. That means watch your step. Stay within the proper path as you present yourself to him. And what? And be more ready to hear. And be more ready to hear, to obey, and to get it right the first time. Then to end up doing what? Then to give the second sacrifice of food. Then to end up giving the sacrifice of food. You wasn't listening when the wisdom and understanding was flowing. Now, kabang, here you are in a situation where you taking L, getting it took out your butt, getting whooped, come, giving the sacrifice of food. So putting ourselves in position to have to give up a sacrifice is foolish, right? Why? For they consider not that they do evil, because they consider not that they do evil, right? You feeding them the scripts and they ducking and dodging your scriptures, huh? Oh, ain't nothing wrong with me doing this. Swabbing and weaving your scripts, right? Oh, that don't mean that. That mean this. Why do we supposed to be fishermen and the fish is offended? Ain't nothing wrong if I talk like this. And this is a response, huh? You seeing it plainly right in front of your face that they still suffering the sacrifice of a fool, right? They consider not that they do evil. That's why they ain't at peace in the first place. That's why you having a problem with them when you having a problem with them. Because they walk and talk and do things in a way that 
shit gets them punished. They get their feathers all flustered. Flat out, sin call. You gon' pay that pipe. You earned it. testimony. Like I said back there in these lyrics. When I picked my boy up and we went out in the streets doing things that we ought not. I ended up wearing his blood at the end of that night. Lost my boy and my truck. True story. That was me paying the sacrifice of food. You disobey, you pay. Flat out. That's how that goes. So if you disappoint, irritated, feeling overworked, huh? Whatever it is, what's wrong? What's your problem? You lonely? Are you mad? Is you sad? Another failed relationship? Sick of feeling unappreciated? Or maybe you don't even have no idea what it is. You just ain't feeling your full potential in your gut. You feel stagnated, huh? Can't tell me about it. I know something wrong with you, but you can't put your finger on it, huh? Are you confused? That's called confusion. Maybe it's all of the above. What's the matter? You growing weary, stressed, depressed, and feeling oppressed? Tired of not doing your best? Then turn up your obedience. You are stuck in sacrifice mode. And the Father wants something more from you. This is not a time to be reading these scriptures and not doing what they say. I love grace, mercy, and peace be unto you all. I'm your brother, brother Brian. Brother, brother Rooney. Brian. Keeping it at BWO. We taking note righteously. Gathering the Christ church in these last days. Shalom. 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 1 Samuel 15 and 22. And Samuel said. Has thy power is great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of thy power? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than the fat of ram.